Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel for another video on Marvel Contest of Champions. This one is focused on the lovely Awakening Gems. I do get asked from time to time, Ridge, where do we get Awakening Gems from? Whether or not they're 3 star, 4 star, 5 star, maybe we'll get 6 star at a later date. But the fact is, where do we get them from? What's the easiest process to get them? Are they easy to obtain? Let's deep dive their shears. Also, if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button as well, hitting up those post notifications, ta. But let's jump into the full minutiae of the video, Awakening Gems. At the point of recording this video, I've got a veritable smorgasbord of different Awakening Gems for your consideration, using your eyes. There's various ones that I would like to use in different circumstances, but for whatever reason, I'm holding off. By the end of April, I should have made a pretty positive decision about who gets what. In particular, a lot of five-star ones, I've got one Mutant 5 Star Awakening Gem, I've then got one that's Mystic, and unfortunately, and I use the term lightly, unfortunately, I've got two that are Cosmic. I just haven't found the right champion. I don't know why I haven't found the right champion to use it on, or use both on, but yeah, for whatever reason, I just haven't found them. So what are the best places to go in order to get Awakening Gems? In a nutshell, it is easy, but also it's a little bit hard at the same time. At this point, it's important to mention I have two ways of looking at things, either that are one-offs or reoccurring. When one-offs are concerned, it's largely down to story quests or some very specific event quests. At the moment, Act 4 offers a full generic 4-star one, which isn't particularly great for a lot of players that have 5-stars, but still is a good standing and a good building block. At the moment, Act 5 does offer the most in the way of Awakening Gems, with one generic being offered from Chapter 1. From Chapter 2, there is nothing, unfortunately. Chapter 3, however, does bring one full 5-star Awakening Gem Crystal, which gives you a chance of getting something random. So, a lot of the time you may be feeling disappointed with what you get, but still, it is a building block. And then finally, from the Exploration. And not forgetting, for the full Exploration, you do get a full generic five-star awakening gem which you can use at your heart's content unfortunately there's still very little known about act six for the full rewards and also the further chapters and i'm sure that that will be announced in time however there is nothing on offer for this chapter 6.1 that uh, well would be nice to see something like this but unfortunately it is not but Maybe something in the future is going to come better from Chapter 2. And maybe by the time we see Chapter 4 and even the 100% Act Awards, we could see a 6-star Awakening Gem. That would be pretty cool. But it doesn't stop there. There are some more one-offs, especially if you go to Variant, you're able to pick up for the Exploration. One 5-star Awakening Gem Crystal. So, yay. Again, more chance to get something random. However, though, more generics are on the way by the 100%ing of Labyrinth of Legends. Yes, you do get the crystal from the completion side of things, but people want that generic. They want to be able to choose what they want to rank up and what they want to awaken. However, though, this may not satisfy you at the point you are in the game. If you want a four-star version, then you need to go to Road to Labyrinth and try to get that exploration rewards and try and get this four-star awakening gem crystal. But there are ways of getting more. But it doesn't stop there. Kabam do give out free from time to time some Awakening Gem Crystals. We've got a five star one at Christmas and I'm sure that they'll drop that from time to time. And it'll be a nice little surprise. Also, look out for special events. Now, there's no special event currently on for this month. But there's usually something that comes about. Infinity Dust stores, which may look to be put in in May. And also, we just had recently an Intel store, which allow players to get a 5-star Awakening Gem Crystal. There are other opportunities to get these things that are going to be beneficial to you. So when these things drop, make sure you put in your time and you do the grind. Also, as well, don't forget that Kabam likes to put in challenges. And these challenges largely lead to 4-star Awakening Gems or generic Awakening Gems and also at the same time, maybe 5-star Awakening Gems. It really depends what Kabam put out with these particular events. Also, for those looking to grind out for the 2- and 3-star versions of the Awakening Gems, look out for Solo Crystals. Lesser Solo Crystal and Greater Solo Crystal. These two are still pretty good and getting you some Awakening Gems. Most of the Awakening Gems that I have in my inventory at the moment that are 2- or 3-star largely have come from those particular crystals. So as you can see, I'm kind of inundating with them. And it has meant that it's meant for quick progression to get up to max signatures and max signature crystals, which can give a little bit of luck. Now, it hasn't normally happened, but yeah, there is a chance at the higher the rarity of the max signature to actually pick up 
some awakening gems. It happened once I got a skill awakening gem out of a higher one, so not the not a max signature one there with the four star, but the one with the five star. Yeah, I picked up a four star awakening gem that was mystic, and I was like, hey, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, but it is very rare to happen. But this is the point of going, you need to start thinking about your roster's further progression and your future. But yeah, you can look to integrate the working of signature stones onto champions to build them up to 99 to then find yourself going, right, well, I'm getting max signatures. I could get a better chance of getting an awakening gem crystal, even though there's a slim chance. But maybe I feel that it could be best for this. The usage of the lesser and greater solo crystals for the point of getting awakening gems at a lower rarity. Time to time, Caban will roll out deals, especially look out for Cyber Monday deals and just finding out through seeing some sort of report and source. Caban made $3.3 million on Cyber Monday. I don't know if that's a huge amount of money or a low amount of money. Either way, look, those are when the best deals come in. There's special offers that you buy units and you get some extras with it. Those are times to go, I'll consider buying if you are inclined to buy. Though I'm not forcing you to buy, it's just one of these things where you get added extras for units that you'd normally buy if you were actually putting money into the game. If you're not, then that's cool. At the end of the day, the further you progress in game, the more difficult it is to get the more rarer starage rating of those Awakening Gems. Five stars and more than likely by the time we finished Act 6, six stars are going to be the most difficult ones to get. At this point, it's important to have some self-realization and say to yourself, right, if I want to get there at a quick rate, I'm either going to have to spend when the time comes or it's going to be a case that you're going to have to grind exponentially to get certain things. And in particular, I think the best two ways are to focus on challenges as well as looking at special stores when they come about. When these things come about, it's more of an easier process to grab these things but you have to put in the time, you have to put in the grind, and you would have to develop your roster further. Once you've done all your one-offs, then look to your reoccurring. Build a roster that's got strength to it, but also diversity against certain things. Not diversity is an Alliance Wars diversity, but a team that benefits going up against things that maybe like evade, invade, all those difficult nodes that usually come about from an uncollected difficulty, the evolutions of things, evolution of death, and other aspects that make it frustrating. Have champions that are good and diverse against things like biohazard, poison, caltrops, all those niggling little things that do make yourself really frustrated at times with the game. Look at your experience with Alliance Quest and then build a team around it, but also make sure that they're available to do these event quests when they come on. And make sure you do put in the grind to do those stores for event quests when they come about. In any case, enough of my jibber jabber. Hopefully you had a good experience with this video. If you did like it, hit that like button and subscribe for more Marvel Contest the Champions based content. Catch me in a live stream most days from 1900 hours GMT and at the weekend 1600 hours GMT. If I'm not doing any kind of thing, so... Maybe see you then. But in any case, thanks very much for watching. I've been Rich the Man. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye for now.